Since the 1960s, Star City near Moscow has been a place for Russian cosmonauts to live, work and train. Today, it's also where European astronauts come to learn the intricacies of Russian space technology. The Yuri Gagarin Training Center has recently played host to Luca Pamitano from Italy. The first of ESA's new astronauts scheduled to fly into orbit, he's currently preparing for a long duration stay on board the International Space Station. Star City houses full-size mock-ups of major Russian spacecraft, such as the Soyuz capsule, which will carry Parmitano and two fellow crew members on their mission. Closely monitored by trainers, he spent many hours inside this simulator, learning the skills he'll need for launch, flight, docking and landing. I'm responsible for most of the systems during the flight of the Soyuz. My job as flight engineer is to support the commander in, the, in performing his duties, but I have a very deep insight into all the systems, into what's happening with the spacecraft, uh, whether it's performing correctly or there are problems, and uh, as a pilot, this is a, this is a job that I really like, that I really enjoy. At Star City, there's also a replica of the Russian segment of the International Space Station a major part of Luca Parmitano's future home in space. Like its counterparts in Germany and the USA, this simulator has given him the chance to familiarize himself with new surroundings, learning day-to-day -day maintenance and preparing for any emergencies which could arise. Though long and repetitive, such in-depth training is essential. After launch early next year, Parmitano's role on board the station as flight engineer will see him faced with a huge array of tasks and responsibilities. I will perform all sorts of roles. I will be in charge of uh, experiments. I will be also in charge of maintenance, hopefully uh, NEVA, which is currently being planned. So it, it really depends on, on the day. Uh, I change my hat from a scientist to uh, uh, somebody who just works and fixes the station to uh, maybe, uh, maybe a spacewalker. Since his selection for ESA's astronaut corps in May 2009, Luca Parmitano's working life has been completely transformed. A former test pilot, he's now had the privilege of training with the space station's international partners, giving him the qualifications to represent ESA in orbit. I've been living the dream, even the training, it's uh, something that I will remember forever. And I would love to, to actually uh, get the experience again because it's the only time in my life where I, every day I, I've been doing something different and it's just, it's just incredible. So uh, I am excited, I am excited about the flight, I'm excited by getting close, but the whole time I've just been very, very lucky to be able to enjoy this fantastic experience. As he pays his respects to the founding father of spaceflight, Yuri Gagarin, this young European astronaut prepares for the biggest moment of his career and the chance to be a part of spaceflight history himself.